This evening, I want to talk to you about what happened in Las Vegas. I feel that each of us have a responsibility to share the healing that we found or any kind of inspiration or enlightenment. Immediately when I heard about the tragedy in Las Vegas, I've been following it every night, and immediately my mind went to 9-11. I had a close friend named Douglas Farnham who lost his life in the World Trade Center. He was on the top floor, and my mind also went to San Bernardino, where another beloved friend of mine and my husband Joe, um, his life was wrongly taken as well. In times of tragedy, what do we tell our children? What do we tell ourselves? You know, the thing that keeps coming back to me are the great stories of the great prophets of old who were willing to walk through the fire, who were willing to trust in the living God, who believed in a future and a life here to come greater than this life. Those are the people that I follow, the people who were able to say, even if, even if my world is taken, my world is shaken, I will trust the Lord. And so I pray this song brings you hope today to not live in fear. When tragedy overtakes us and senseless violence near, I will not be silent and I will not Blessed be his name. 
Ee <laughs> 